टूडेज पैकेज ऑफ द वीक इज कंट्री कोड फोन पिकअ विथ इनपुट सो दिस इज आर पैकेज इंटरनेशनल फोन फील्ड एंड इफ यू कैन सी दैट इट हैज अ कंट्री कोड पिकर ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड एंड ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड दे इज अ स्पेस फॉर इनपुट एंड यू कैन सी दैट इट ऑल्सो हैज अ वैलिडेशन फॉर द फोन नंबर सो इफ यू एंटर लेस दैन टेन डिजिट और वॉट एवर डिजिट नंबर ऑफ डिजिट इज देयर फॉर दैट कंट्री देन देर विल बी अ एर मैसेज देर इज अ काउंटर फॉर द नंबर ऑफ डिजिट्स दैट यू एंटर सो दीज आर द फीचर्स ऑफ दिस पैकेज इवन दो दीज आर सिंपल फीचर्स बट दिस इज वेरी यूजफुल वेन यू वॉन्ट टू एड अ फील्ड टू इंटर फोन नंबर इन योर प्रोजेक्ट सो विदाउट टॉकिंग टू मच लेट्स गो हैड एंड एक्सप्लोर द पैकेज सो फर्स्ट वी नीड टू इंस्टॉल दिस पैकेज so this is our project package of the week and i will go ahead and install this package in our project okay installation is complete and to explore this package i will go ahead and find the code if there is any example code and here i can see that this is a example code i will copy this code and let's first paste this code completely and see if there is any error so i cannot find any error just these are the blue lines for making uh these widgets as constant uh let's make it let's make all this constant so that there are no blue lines Okay. Yeah, this is done. Okay, most of the blue lines have disappeared, so there there is no more distraction for us. Uh, I will go ahead and run this project now, so that we can see how uh, things look. so here you can see that we have three input fields and the last field is the phone number input field here if i enter one digit it shows invalid mobile number and for us i can enter 10 digits here is the option to select country and this uh pop up looks very beautiful we also have a search feature if i want to select any search any uh, country and select the country code so this looks beautiful and it also comes with validation so i think that is something that most of the project needs okay now let's come to the customization part if i want to customize things you can see that uh, there are spaces between the fields uh between this number and the border so if we want to remove these spaces how can we do that do do that so let's go ahead and check the field first so this is the field uh that we have added using this package and here are the properties of this field this is the initial country code if we want to use a country code when the widget loads uh okay here is a decoration property uh we can use this property to customize the look and feel 
and here it has also been used so here you can see that there is a decoration property in the decoration property there is a label text there is border and outline input border let's comment this border and see how it looks so if we comment this border then the side pipe uh, only the underline is left and the other parts have disappeared now what if we want to remove the uh, let's first remove this label because we might not need the label and we we might be using our own label using the text field on top of this input field so I will just remove this label so when I removed this label the space also disappeared uh, and it's no more taking the space so I think that is good now there is a space between uh, this number and the underline so what we can do about that there are multiple options uh, customize customizing spacing of the text input can be time consuming uh, if you don't know the exact properties to look for in uh, in this video I will go through the properties to change quickly to customize any text input or widget or component like this like the phone number widget uh, that we are using so what are the properties so the property number one is content padding and you can see that if you hover on this input decoration uh, here we can see the content padding option so let's go ahead and use this option content padding and if we are using content padding uh, let's go ahead and first thing that we can do is that we can make this ads in sets as 0 and let's see what happens okay so the top part space disappeared when we made this 0 but still uh, the text went up and uh, there's spacing between the border so uh, what we can do about that uh, let's see what are the options okay there is another property which is box constant and using box constant we can put uh, we can uh, customize the spacing again so let's try that option uh, So first there we have to use this constant property and then we can go ahead and use this box constant property in the box constant you can see that here is uh, minimum width maximum width let's use the max height property so maximum height I want is uh, let's put it as 30 and let's see what happens okay so here you can see that uh, the spacing decreased but it decreased too much so we need some spacing so just by using this box constant property I removed so much space so this is one of the important property if you want to remove the spacing uh, I think by default this text is uh, aligned to top and we can change that we can uh, align this text by using the align property which is not here but might be yeah 
so this property is here and it this property is there in almost all text input field so we can use this property to customize the alignment okay for alignment also there are so many uh, options and we can select the option that we need so I will go for text alignment vertical and and I would I will align it as center center line okay what's the value for text uh, text vertical alignment let's check it out okay so this is the property can go ahead and use this property okay so this brought the uh, text little bit uh, at in uh, in the center we can also use this bottom property to bring it more towards now it's it, it looks much better oh what did i change so now if we input something so the spacing has disappeared so we saw that there are uh, content padding using which we can customize the spacing there is box constant there is another one property which is is dense and that also we can use to remove the spaces uh, around this text input and we just have to set is dense equals to true and here you can see that uh, this most of the spaces around the input number and drop down disappeared or reduced so is dense makes this input field more dense uh, box constant we have already used text alignment we just saw that how we can use it to customize the requirement now the border color if we want to change then there are uh, multiple options like uh, we can use focused border we can use error border we can use enabled border so i will go ahead and try the enabled border border property and uh, underline input border uh, let's use the color or oh, let's use the border side and now now we can use the color let's make it black the color didn't changed because it is just put in enabled border there are other uh, other border properties like uh, focused border and we will go ahead and try this one okay why it's not changing okay here we need a comma okay now the uh now this changed and uh, here you can see that it has become black now if we now when there is error again the color changes if we want to customize this then we we can use error border property uh -huh. and this will help us to customize the color when there is border for the error okay uh, 
is still not changing. Let's run this refresh. Okay, the color border is uh, error border is not changing as of now. Mm. Let's see if there are more border properties. Focused error border property. Okay, so let's try this out. Okay, this one changed the color. So now, uh, so many error, uh, so many border properties are there that uh, helps us to customize the look and feel of this text input. And if you want to remove the spacing, then we have to make changes to these properties. And if you don't know the exact properties, it becomes very time consuming because you have to go through so many properties even if you are just using the decoration then also there are so many properties but if you are knowing the exact property that you need to look for then you can quickly make the customization so i hope you found this video informative and if you do please do like the video uh, if you are interested in more such videos i i put informative and useful package videos on my channel so please do subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching this video stay tuned bye bye